Namaste, Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. Hi, my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for your love and support. Thank you guys for watching the collective videos that I've been posting. I appreciate you guys that watch the collective videos because those collective videos that I've been guided to be uh, to start posting, they're very significant. For the simple fact that you guys are dealing with different signs and energies, uh, the collective videos uh, might resonate with you guys the most, okay? So thank you so much for showing up and supporting the channel, for your love, for your likes, for your for your um, donations. I love you guys. Let's get right into this message, okay? I'm going to start pulling a couple cards from this deck because I was being guided to, and I have some channel messages here, of course, as always. All right, so let me get right into this message. I picked up on this song by Lisa Stanfield, okay? So somebody's name could be Lisa, Elizabeth, Liz, um, Stanfield, okay? Lisa Stanfield sings the song, Been Around the World. And this is the song that I channeled for you guys, Aries. Been around the world and I, 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 I can't find my baby. I don't know when, I don't know why. Why I'm running away and I don't know where she can be, my baby. Okay, and then I heard Bad at Love by Halsey. I'm bad at love, ooh, ooh. Okay, so somebody was really bad at love, or maybe um, you had a you you always had a hard time in your love life. You always had a hard time. Um, I don't know. You always had a hard time um, understanding someone that you were dealing with in love okay or you always had a hard time attracting the right person into your life when it comes to love or maybe you guys at one point got hurt in love and you closed off your heart to love okay and then i heard the song by whitney houston i'm gonna run to you i'm gonna run to you i don't know how that song goes somebody's name could be whitney somebody could live in houston texas but now somebody that wasn't open to love in the past when you were with this person or when you met this person this person has experienced a lot of issues and conflict and karma and and tower moments and like this person's been through the ringer ever since you've been gone since you've been gone i don't want to breathe another night that it all. Yeah, yeah. so kelly clarkston so somebody's name could be uh kelly i think that's her name if if that's not her name, please let me know what's her name. Something Clarkson. So somebody's name could actually be Kelly because I heard Kelly. So since you've been gone, since you haven't been around this person, since you pulled back your energy from this person, they started to experience a major awakening now. Okay, when it comes to you, my beautiful Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Node, or Venus, or Cross Watcher, this person started to do their research and figured out that you are a high yoki empath, that you are the most powerful empath that exists on this earth, okay? That you're connected to all elements, air, water, fire, and um, yeah, you're connected to water, air, fire, and earth, okay? And that you've been around the world, so this is not your first rodeo, that's what I heard, okay? So you've dealt with different things in your life repeatedly. You've learned how to conquer and defeat certain demons in your life. You've mastered yourself all right, you broke a generational curse of narcissism in your life or bloodline, and mm, no, no narcissist could get up in your energy because you will right away start picking up on all the red flags. You can see the pattern of the narcissist when they come in around you. All right, there was a narcissist, you could have figured this person out. All right, okay, so I, 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 I wrote a poem. But it's not a poem. It's like a message. This is like a poem message because as soon as I was channeling this energy for you guys, all right, and, and if you have it, you got to check out the collective video too because somebody in the collective video was also feeling like they met you for a reason, that when you came into this person's life, you caused a shift in their energy. You cause a spark with inside of them. They were denying this for a while. If this person was running from love or they were uh, hiding their emotions or this person had experienced something heavy. 
that they experienced, maybe through childhood, maybe this person experienced being molested by someone in their family, maybe this person experienced being abandoned by one of their parents, maybe this person experienced a major broken heart when it comes to a love relationship, they got really betrayed in love before, whatever they experienced, this person was completely closed off to you or completely closed off to love, all right, but they had a need for your energy, this person always came back around or this person got attached to you very quickly. They didn't understand why this was happening. It's because you are a high yogi empath. You are a healer, a most powerful empath there is. Okay, so you have a way of understanding people. You have a way of transmuting energies. You have a way of healing other people with your energy, your love, just by being around them. Because you, you're a very good listener. Okay, so they never, they never met somebody like you. I'm going to read this really quickly because this is how you could be feeling or this person in your energy could be feeling. Been around the world and I'm bad at love. Then I met you and something happened to my heart. There was a spark. Even when things were dark and there goes the shark. I always knew that you played a part to bring me to, bring me to the light and help me fight. All these shadows lurking in the night. You were always right. I see it now. I was such a clown. Wow. This time around, I will run to you so we can do what lovers do. It's always been you. Wow. Oh my God. Like I literally felt my heart in my, like my heart palpitating in my chest, my stomach. I got butterflies in my stomach too. All these different feelings and emotions going on right now in, inside of me. This is this person's energy too. Okay. This is this person's energy too. So I literally took the songs that I channeled and I implemented it into this energy, this poem this is the way this person is feeling about you guys, Aries. This is a very intense connection. All right, I'm going to read it to you again. This is how this person is feeling. Been around the world and I'm bad at love. So they knew they were bad at love, okay? They knew it. They just knew it. They always sabotaged their love life because of something they need to heal from. Been around the world, I'm bad at love. I met you and something happened to my heart. There was a spark. Even when things were dark and there goes the shark... I always knew that you played a part to bring me to the light and help me fight. All the shadows lurking in the night, you were always right. I see it now. I was such a clown. This time around, I will run to you so we can do what lovers do. It's always been you. Okay? So, I don't know. Like, this person knows that you were right about everything you told them, everything you try to teach them, everything that you, you were giving this person advice or trying to wake them up to their reality. Now they're realizing that they were such a clown for messing around and losing you because they, could, they, they kept trying to fight their feelings or they kept trying to close themselves off to love or they kept listening to the wrong friend or family member that was trying to keep them away from you. Okay, so let's get into this energy reading, guys. This could be somebody that's a different nationality than you. They could be a bit older or younger than you. Okay. Somebody's mother was involved in keeping them from connecting with you. Or somebody's mother could be experiencing something like in their health. All right. This person could be going through something with their that's, that, that they're dealing with when it comes to their mother. Maybe they care for their mother. Maybe their mother's sick or ill. Maybe they're finding out their mother will, has some sort of weird soul, soul tie or binding spell on them. All right. Yeah. Or this could be your mother. Aries, wa you, the Aries watching me. This could be your mother that tried to have some sort of control or manipulation over your energy when it comes to lovers, when it comes to love, when it comes to you uh, being independent, taking back your power. Whoever you are, you have a gifted son or daughter or you have a son and daughter that's gifted or you will be expecting a son or a daughter that's gifted. This was already destined. If you guys have a son or daughter that's gifted, all right, protect this son or daughter from this person's mother or from your mother, okay? Because obviously this mother knows how to harness energies. Wow, a water sign is devastated because they lost you. This could be the person I'm channeling, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, all right? You could have been dealing with a fake friend that was a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Okay, that was trying to lead you down a down dark path or that was trying to uh, block your love life or that was doing something to betray you. You could have found this out. You thought this person was a friend, but this person was a foe. Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. All right. Somebody's candle magic is backfiring. Somebody could have light eyes, light brown eyes or green eyes. Somebody could have red, red car, red lipstick, red hair. This person wears the color red. Somebody could be involved in a gang. Okay, they've been spying on you. They could have been um, sending informants to try to get some information or to keep tabs on you because they're devastated. 
All right? Because whatever they chose over you or whatever they did in your energy that caused you to remove this person or take back your energy from them, it really backfired on them. It really caused them to have some sort of out-of-body experience. So now this person wants to come towards you and bring you a gift to make things up to you. This person is thinking about buying something special or bringing you a gift. Hmm. Somebody's child's father could be sick or ill here. A karmic female that has face piercings is under judgment, all right, for dealing with your child's father or working against you with your child's father. Or this karmic female that with face piercings could be somehow obsessed with you online, targeting you. Yeah, this could be a dark witch as well. Bad storm, power outage, all right? So there could be some bad storms or power outage or bad weather, heavy snow, heavy rain, winds, or something that this person or you could be experiencing or this could be happening in their energy. Yeah, because they tried to judge you for your spiritual beliefs, for your for your spiritual gifts, or they tried to judge you, all right? They judged you because of the choices that you started to make. They started to judge you because they didn't like the fact that you were releasing them, that you figured something out about them, all right? So they started to judge you. Hmm. Time traveler? You guys could be some sort of time traveler. Like I said, you've been here before. You've lived many lifetimes. You already experienced this. Different time li li lifetimes that you experienced the same betrayals, the same karmics coming into your energy, doing the same things. This is not your first rodeo. You could be you could be coming into contact with a time traveler. This person has information about the past or the future. All right, this could be like um, a psychic investigator too that somebody tried to hire. In order to get into your Akashic Records, in order to find out your destiny so they can block it. Something happened to the psychic investigator. They don't want nothing to do with this person, these people. They don't want to read for them. They don't want to talk to them. This psychic investigator could have blocked them, this person and went MIA. All right? Maybe you could be a psychic investigator, but be careful who you're reading for. All right? Because you could be reading for somebody that's trying to harm someone else. And then they get addicted to your energy and start trying to attack you. Be mindful if you're a reader, if you read for people. New home or apartment. You guys could be manifesting this. Somebody has tattoos. A sister energy is upset because somebody's going to come and spoil you. Or somebody uh, reached out to the sister or this family member or this cousin and let them know that they're going to come give you this major offer. And they was trying to stop this person by saying something messed up about you. This person says something foul about you guys. You know what? And this person now knows that this individual and these people were just jealous of you because this person knows that's not true about you. They did their research about you or they know who you are. The Most High God showed them who you are. Yeah. Somebody could have a tribal sleeve tattoo. I heard Manny, Emmanuel. I heard Alex or Alexi, Alexander. Rebecca. Jamie. Jeremy. Family lies are getting exposed here. This person's lies are getting exposed and somebody's going to confess to you that they're bisexual or gay or somebody's going to spill this person's secret to you. An important phone call. You need to take action. All right, my beautiful loves, take action. Starting over for a brand new life. This is what you guys are doing. There was a weird lawyer that wasn't that's getting involved into a situation when it comes to you. There was there's a lawyer involved here already. All right. Working on some case here, getting some information, subpoena. It. There's a lawyer that's going to subpoena. There's a lawyer that's going to subpoena or subpoena a hospital for some sort of hospital records or documents here or something that was done to you fraudulently in a hospital or in a workplace or somewhere like that. This could be in um, in the courthouse, like something was done and there's a lawyer that's subpoenaing a group of people or a firm or a, or a company institution. They're getting subpoenaed for some sort of records, some sort of information. Somebody could have been trying to illegally get into your hospital records. That's illegal with a crooked lawyer. What? This could be either or. Start your business. Somebody dealing with a slumlord, a landlord that's not fixing the property. Take that landlord to court. Get pictures and evidence and proof. You're going to win um, this court case over this landlord. All right? That's not repairing the property. That's not doing what the landlord's supposed to do or property owner here. This is a side message for someone. All these messages, they're random. Take what fits and leave the rest. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries Leo Sash, that was seeking revenge on you. But now they're devastated because they're asking friends about you. They're trying to find out what you got going on. All right? This person uh, 
hooked up with a with, with your family. You could have a family with a group of warlocks in your family, or this person has a group of warlocks in their family. All right, somebody's experiencing some weird dreams, nightmare on Elm Street. They could be calling you shook, telling you that they experienced some weird dream or that something supernatural happened around them. That's what they get for trying to seek revenge on you. All right, now they're backing out. They don't want to do this anymore. All right, because you're a real talented artist or you're being recognized uh, world-renowned energy for some sort of gift or something that you, you started to do. You mastered something here. Somebody could be uh, having some sort of asthma attacks or fatigue. Somebody could be a smoker, but they're, they're having asthma attacks or fatigue or something's going on with their lungs. All right? Somebody could be getting a health diagnosis. Tow truck driver came out and you that you reincarnated royalty, right? You've been, the, you've been here before. This is not your first time being here on this earth here, my beautiful loves. All right? And now you're not in the two of swords. You're getting out of your head. You're starting to make a plan. You're starting to put yourself in a powerful position. And you are receiving accolades, recognition. And you are receiving a major offer as well. Somebody knows who you are. They can't deny it. Yeah, they can't deny it. I can't deny it. I don't know why you don't want to mess with me. All right? So I heard Tupac. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, wow. So this dark empath took a turn for the worse. This dark, dark empath, did, this dark empath, this Virgo energy, this dark empath. This doesn't have to be a Virgo, guys. You guys can have Virgo in your chart. All right. But this is the Virgo energy, the hermit card. And if it's in the reverse, somebody's a real dark empath. And they realize that their manipulation tactics on you aren't working. They didn't work. It's only affecting them instead. All right. So, wow. Yeah. Somebody conjured something up and now they're dealing with it. Now they're now they're now they're trying to get rid of this entity they conjured up when it comes to you. They don't have divine's protection. Yeah, yeah, they try to come for you, but they don't have divine's protection. This person's will of fortune is blocked. I can't make it up. This person's path is blocked. This person's broken hearted now with the three of swords because you're still getting the ten of pentacles and they couldn't stop your money. They couldn't steal from you. They couldn't slow this down. King of Pentacles in reverse under judgment. All right, but you have this could be a queen or king of pentacles. This could be a karmic couple too. All right, but you have victory, success, accolades, recognition. Yeah, your ships are coming in. Or you could be dealing with another Aries, the Emperor, in reverse here. Karmic justice. Somebody has to go to court or somebody's going to have some sort of situation play out in the justice system. It's not going to go in their favor here because they try to cause you a tower moment, but your ancestors were there to block this tower moment. They were there to uh, awaken you right on time, to give you the memo right on time, to keep you 10 steps ahead. Okay? Somebody was triggered by something that you said, okay? Somebody was triggered by something that you said. They weren't ready for the truth at the time. They weren't ready to see the light at the time. And you give this person a message or you told them something. They were triggered by what you said, all right? So then they went behind the scenes and started slandering your name, gossiping, or trying to attack you. Only to find out that what you said was actually true, that the person they were trusting or dealing with was actually their enemy, or that something that they were doing was wrong and it was going to cause them to have a tower moment. Something that you said to this person actually happened, okay? In the family room. Now they're having a talk, a meeting, or discussions about you in this family room. The number 21 could be significant. The number 39. All right, somebody could be born on the 21st. Somebody could have a 21-year-old child. Somebody could be 39 years old. Community. Yeah, in this community. In this community. All right, there was people in this community that were sent in to gaslight you, that were sent in to watch you, that were sent in to target you. The watchers, they're under judgment. Yeah, there's an official person here. All right, an official person is showing up and your name's being cleared. And now somebody's in cons under a judgment because they're concerned about this whole situation turning in your favor. After they paid many people to do this, after they spent a whole bunch of money getting psychic readings or paying psychic investigators, after they did the most, they're being left with nothing. They're going broke while you are being compensated, while your name is being cleared, while something's being rectified, and you are, are being set free from this whole situation. Number 22 is here. Somebody could be born on the 22nd. Somebody could be 33. You guys can be seeing the number 222 or 333. 
Yeah, because they didn't realize that you had spiritual high ranking, that you're held in high honor, and that something was never meant to affect you, and now they're in bad health. Somebody, You're going to be receiving a phone call that somebody's in bad health. All right, so now the wealthy man is interested in you. The wealthy man wants to work with you. The wealthy man or woman wants to give you a, a generous donation or offer or, uh, you know what, they want to invest into you or your business because the false person got caught. They know that this, all right, somebody could have been trying to take credit for your work, all right, or somebody tried to pretend that they were you or somebody tried to falsify some sort of document or signature or somebody tried to make it seem like, you know, you were this person, but you, you weren't. That's how they are, okay? Or that's what they do. That's what they did. They try to gaslight somebody to believe that about you. Mm. Under judgment. Because you get sudden wealth. Somebody might be passing away. I'm sorry. And I don't like giving that sort of message, guys. You know, but somebody's transitioning here. All right? My condolences if you're losing somebody. This person is going to resurrect and be one of your guardian angels. This person, um, when they pass away... It's going to break a major curse in your energy because somehow a curse that was placed upon you was connected to this person. Maybe this person actually did it or maybe this person actually didn't do it, but they were connected to other people that were connected to you. So they could have used this person or cursed you, but it really affected this person. Something like that. Something weird like that. Okay. So just know that you will be vindicated. Just know that this person will be one of your warriors on the spirit realm. Or just know that this person is regretful or remorseful and that, you know, something has to happen in order for a major curse to be broken here. You will be receiving unexpected income. All right. And the main female in reverse, this person thought she had you defeated. She thought she had you blocked. She thought she took something from you unbeknownst to you. All right. Everything goes left. Things don't work out. This person is obsessed or upset because your ships are coming in and that you're the privileged lady. And this karmic wanted to be you. This karmic wanted to literally walk in your skin. Be you. Do what you do. Confuse people about you. They could be going to prison for something they did that was fraudulent. They don't even know. The cops could be coming to their job or showing up at their home or like this is going to be on the news or this is going to go public. But you are the gift and now people recognize that or this person does. They're in despair. Because they didn't, they didn't know this before. Like I said, somebody's in despair. Because now they know you're a high yoki empath. Now they know that you were sent by the divine. All right? And they should have never uh, signed up for whatever they signed up for. They should have never misjudged you either. All right? So you're getting some sort of news or uh, a message. Somebody could have woke up feeling sick or ill. Chicken noodle soup or broth. Drinking tea. Somebody could be trying to block or affect your throat chakra. So you can't sing, so you can't speak, so you, so you can't speak up for yourself, or so you can't sing. So somebody here, you make music, or you're a good singer, or you use your voice for something, and they're trying to block your throat chakra. Neglected. Yeah, they neglected you. They neglected to value you. They neglected to see your worth. They neglected to do the right thing by you. Now they neglected you in some sort of way, and now they're confused. Because they don't even know how where they stand with you because they know you figured them out. Really, they don't know where they stand with you because they don't know what your next move is going to be. Because your next move is your best move, so keep it private. So keep them, keep them guessing. You're keeping them guessing. They're, you're so mysterious, so you're keeping them get, guessing. And now they know they missed an opportunity because they try to block you from receiving an opportunity. So this person actually missing opportunities and they don't know why. They need to figure it out. They need to go reflect. But you're receiving commitment. Somebody's going to um, propose to you. They want to marry you. They know you're the one. They don't see themselves being with anybody else. Regardless, they woke up to how they feel about you. And this is going to happen soon and abruptly. All right, my loves, this is your reading. I love you guys. I hope you guys uh, continue to raise your vibrations, continue to protect your energies, continue to walk in your purpose and stand in your truth. Okay, if you guys are interested in the Gone Spiritual Bath, it is available. It is very good. I, I love the way it works and um, smells amazing. And also, Crown Chakra is available. You guys already know if you need a service from me, if you need a personal reading, um, or you're interested in any of my products, please reach out to me. I'm going to be getting more bracelets. So I'm going to be getting more protection bracelets soon. So when I get the protection bracelets, I'm going to let you guys know. Till the next time, namaste.